Hello and welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. In this set of tutorials, we're going to create a terrain with a different zones. So we'll look on a little bit more advanced how to work with the world machine to create it, uh, maps that you can use after in the games or other 3D rendering applications. So first, right here, we have our basic. I'm going to overall view and we zoom out we can go ahead and start using the extension. So you can see right here, this is our main extent. What I want to do, I want kind of increasing this. So we have a little bit larger size. Okay. And we'll go just scratch, stretch, whatever size you think you need to have. It. So you can readjust. In some cases, when you use it extend, it's help you when you render specific areas. For me, it just will help us to control and kind of work on those areas. So right here, this is main extent. Okay, here's what I like it. For example, if we have it main extent and go preview, you can see we have it all of this terrain. So if I work on one zone, I want to create, for example, a zone right in this corner. I'm going to create a new extent for this. So we'll go click new. Let's call this mountain. Okay, I'll go click OK. And now I can take this, okay, this is our my extend, this mountain, and I can just scale, put it in this area where I want to cover. So as long as this mountain is now active, we can go back and now I just previewed this piece of the mountain so I can come closer. I don't need to worry about all these areas around. Okay, in this case, um, here's our one we can go ahead and create a new extent. Okay, and we can call this maybe uh, peaks. We'll just try to create a different type areas. Okay, we'll go put it this maybe around here. Sometimes um, I you maybe want a little bit overlap them. So it's help you kind of create a little bit those edges so we can see what they going on there. So let's go create new extend terrace we call this one you can call any other ones you like it so we'll put right here on a side and i like to leave just a little bit border so it's easy to select them it's a little bit hard that way you can go through the navigation but in this case i can easily go navigate through them okay and we can create one um maybe just call shift it or dunes we can try different one so let's go create new one we call dunes and we'll, we'll see maybe we rename something else with this and i'll just put in this corner so we'll notice right here what i done a little bit overlap because i want to be sure when i preview the kind of going over and then we'll start work with the mountain one Okay, you can double time click to see which one you're activating. So we'll go to activate mountain view. Okay, now in mountain view, I want to create in the middle, maybe start with some round mountain. So we'll go as usual, we're creating, we can go to um, new layout. Okay, and you notice right here, this is what we selected, which is nice. So I know I will work in this area. So we'll go select the circle just try for a little bit circle and draw right here. Reposition, maybe make a little bit wider. We can adjust this point. I want to use a breakout for this. So let's make a little bit more natural look. Again, remember this is can expand to other tiles. So in some cases, if we go look to overview, okay, and we can select the different um, preview so you can see it's a little bit kind of like overlap a little bit right here so this is about what I wanted okay so we go layout let's go inside maybe you know shrink if you want some areas let's extend more maybe too much a bit on the corner so kind of play around and I'm going to click on the instead there you go so right here we have a kind of somewhat mountain created 
Okay, let's go to now our nodes and we create our layout which is does not connect to anything at this point. Okay, and I want to create, so I'm going to for now just uh, maybe remove this connection, okay? And this is Advanced Pearl. This will be our base for our mountain before we apply anything. So we can go inside and let's do this way. Let's increase to the continent size, maybe about 29 should work just fine, I think. So we'll just leave it like right here. Um, style, we can go to the basic layout on this. We can leave it as default. Maybe, you know what, let's bring our elevations higher. Okay, and bring our also stepness higher. Maybe something like this. This is overall shape. Remember, this is basic for our um, step mountain. I mean, you know, just leave it smaller. Okay, so let's go ahead, click OK at this point. And next, I want to apply erosion to this, and we can find this inside our natural tabs right here. So we'll go open. Okay, we'll go open parameters and actually before this let's connect them. Let's connect primary to our this. Okay, at this point I want to use the standard, so we'll use no filter. We can pop up this maybe a little bit higher, so let's see. Maybe even higher 190. I want to kind of create most challenge, so I'll get it for the top. And we'll go also time enhancement and increase this as well. Okay, now rock hardness, uh, we can bring just a little bit up. Normally, if we want harder, we can leave it. But again, this is settings. It is very uh, personal. You can create as you want it. I'm just created general options. So we have a kind of nice looking mount. Okay, and as long as we're creating some steps, maybe it won't be unnecessary, but I just want to show you some small kind of like tricks and what to do. So for example, we go to select combiner right here. Okay. And if sometimes you want to control the height, um, easiest you can always create uh, by creating combiner and working with a constant on this. So, okay, let me, where's my constant right here. So we can set our constant and we can connect constant to one node to another one. And by working with average, we can you can see we can actually work now with the height of material. So let's click OK, and we can use it this layout to control this height. So in this case, we are just a controlling map based on our mountains, and we control the height. So in this way, if we need it, we can also you can see we can modify in preview. We can control a bit better height of our mountain. And let's work a little bit better when we start blending with other components. This is kind of small trick to easier way to control height without losing too much of other details.